Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. The Young and the Restless recap for Friday, August 18, 2023, brings a surprising turn of events when Diane presents Jack with a postnuptial agreement. Also in this episode, Ashley tells Tucker she made a huge mistake marrying him, but he explains himself. Sally informs Adam that Victor yanked away the job offer. Billy learns that Connor is being bullied at school before Connor runs away. Finally, Chelsea and Adam struggle with their son's wishes. Now let's take a little deeper into what happened. Tucker, Trevor Street John, woke up in a suite at the GCAC, and he greeted his new wife. However, Ashley, Eileen Davidson, looked bereft. I made a huge mistake, she said. Ashley confronted Tucker for sneaking out in the middle of the night for a drink with Nate, and then ending up in Andre's room. Ultimately, Tucker admitted that Adam had blackmailed him and Audra with his statutory rape information. He tried to reassure a tearful Ashley that it had been handled, but she wondered if he would have ever told her if she hadn't asked. He said he would have, eventually. At the added mansion, Diane, Susan Walters, had a special breakfast for her and Jack's, Peter Bergman, two-week anniversary. She presented a post-nuptial agreement that she'd had Michael draw up for her. He didn't want it, but Diane insisted. She wanted to prove she'd married Jack for the right reasons. Jack warned her that even the post-up wouldn't convince Ashley, but Diane said there weren't any loopholes. She hoped it would heal the family. That convinced him, and Jack signed the document, snapped a photo, and sent it to Ashley. Ashley and Tucker examined the post-up for a loophole, but he said he couldn't find one. Ashley didn't buy it, wondering why her brother changed his mind. Later, Tucker suggested they get their own place. When Ashley and Tucker went to pick up their stuff from the mansion, Jack told his sister that Diane had the post-up drawn up. Tucker let Ashley know it might be time to believe that Diane actually loved Jack. At Crimson Lights, Connor, Judah Mackey, pouted while Chelsea, Melissa Claire Egan, told Billy, Jason Thompson. The little boy had a bad night due to nightmares. Billy offered to share some tricks for overcoming the bad dreams with Connor and Chelsea went to get snacks. Connor complained that he didn't have any friends, especially since Katie and Johnny were leaving for boarding school. The little boy didn't want to go back to Walnut Grove and be the weird kid with disturbed parents. Billy urged Connor to tell his parents he was being bullied, but he worried telling his mom might be more than Chelsea could handle. Chelsea cried when Billy told her that Connor had been bullied over her and Adam, and he let her know that her son may be feeling hopeless. As they talked, Anita called Chelsea to tell her that Connor, who had gone upstairs to make the call, had asked to move in with her. She went to check on her son and returned, letting Billy know that Connor was gone along with some of his clothes. Adam showed up, and he and Billy tried to keep Chelsea calm. Chance, Connor Floyd, walked in and said they hadn't found any signs of him. Earlier at Chancellor Park, Sally Courtney Hope informed Adam, Mark Grossman, that Victor had canceled her job offer. Adam promised to fix it, but Sally didn't think it was fixable. She admitted it seemed like she was a small part of a bigger plan, which piqued Adam's interest. Adam offered Sally a job, but she firmly refused. He said he deserved Newman Media, and Sally advised him to stop thinking about what he deserved and focus instead on what he had. As they talked, Sally worried about having to start over at square one with Chloe. She still felt the whole thing was all a tease, but Adam didn't think it was about anything other than Victor making sure he knew his place. Later, Sally sat alone in the park, and Connor walked by. Connor told Sally he was sorry about the baby. She asked Connor to get her a drink from a nearby kiosk, and when he left, she called Adam to let him know where Connor was. After he hung up, Adam let Chelsea, Billy, and Chance know that Connor was with Sally, and they talked Chelsea out of going to talk to Connor. Back at the park, Sally convinced Connor to stick around with her for a while, and she talked to him about how difficult it was to talk about sad things like losing the baby. Connor admitted he'd been thinking about leaving, and Sally understood, letting him know she'd run away before. When Connor returned to Crimson Lights, he told his parents he didn't want to stay in Genoa City. He asked to live with his grandma and go to school near her. 